everybody, how's it going? Long time no talk. I am so sorry that I've been MIA and this video even is quite late. I'm sorry. It is November 8th and here I am doing my October favorite. So I'm really sorry to start off with. Um, most of the reason why I haven't got this done and posted yet is because October was incredibly crazy for me. Uh, we started off at the beauty college where I work. Um, it's Lytle's Redwood Empire Beauty College, and we started off with a Sonoma County hair harvest. It's something that we do every single year. People come from all over our area and donate their hair so that wigs can be made for people who are going through chemotherapy and who have lost their hair. So it's a really, really, really wonderful cause. And then, uh, so after that was uh, our annual Halloween makeup week, so I was busy teaching that. And then after that, I immediately left and went to Seattle to see a couple of my friends who I've not seen in a good six years, probably. So we had lots of fun, and it's really awful because I had such a good time that I didn't even think about filming while I was there. So I'm really sorry, but it is what it is, and I'm here now to tell you about my October favorites. So I have a few things for you. I have um, a bunch of cosmetics, a bunch of nail polish, and even one hair item. So I will start off right away with the hair item. So this is from Goldwell. It's a volumizing hairspray. It's called Big Finish. And the reason that I love this so much is because, number one, my hair is really, really fine. And that means that normally ten things tend to weigh them down, but with this hairspray right here, I can spray it on. I can literally like hold my hair like this, spray it, and it will stay. So I just, I love this hairspray because it's so lightweight and it dries really, really fast and it holds really well. So I'm really shocked by this product actually. Um, I got this in a little deal they were doing at the school and I used it some and now I'm starting to really, really use it. So this is definitely something that I've been using all through October and now starting in November I have been using it also. So love that. We also sell it at the beauty college if you want to buy it. Just saying. Um, also, okay, so another thing that happened was during our week of Halloween makeup at the beauty college, uh, MAC Cosmetics came and they did a little pre-sale event for us. Everybody knows about the Glitter and Ice collection by now. So they had did a pre-sale event for their palettes and also their brushes. And so I ended up getting a brush kit and came in this pretty, pretty box here. I love the box. I don't want to throw it away. And inside of it was um, this little bag here. It's a clear bag and it's got this little silver disc on it, which... You know, it's okay. I'm not really a makeup bag kind of girl. I like to keep all my things put away where they belong. Um, so I haven't even really touched this bag. And, you know, this is just tissue paper that comes out. So it's a clear bag, little zipper, little glitter zipper pull. And um, like I said, it's a cute bag, but I don't really see myself using it just because I'm not one to really carry around a makeup bag. So I don't know, I might do a giveaway. I really am not sure what I'm gonna do with this yet. But more importantly, what came in the bag? What came in the bag, whoops, I'm dropping things, um, was four makeup brushes, and you'll have to excuse them for being dirty because I used them today. The first one is the, well, I'll show you. They're all four of these duo fiber brushes. And this first one is a 187 special edition. And this alone is the value of this bag. I mean, I got an incredible deal because if I would have bought just this, number one, I wouldn't have got the bag. And number two, I wouldn't have got these three other brushes either. So this is something that's in Max Permanent Brush Line. And again, it is the 187 special edition because it's a little shorty handles. It comes in their holiday collections. And then the next one, this is also from their permanent line. This is the 130. You see it's a lot shorter and it's smaller in general, um, the width of it. A lot smaller than this one actually. Shorter and skinnier. And then I got this, and this is a new brush for them to release. And this is the 282 Special Edition. And this brush is really good for concealer or even what I mostly use it for is my paint pots. I use it a lot for it. So for anything that's cream, even liquid, of course, but it doesn't work as good, and I should say none of these really work as good as a natural fiber brush for powder items. 
So then lastly is this other brush that I haven't even touched yet. Don't ask me why. Um, it is the 286 and this is just, it still has its little packaging on it. I'll take it off so you can see. It's just a round dome brush. Um, really good for blending, but again, I haven't exactly touched it yet just because I haven't needed to. I've been in love with these. So, um, love brushes. That's my first yay. And then also part of that glitter and ice collection, which um, I wasn't able to purchase until November with some of their paint pots. So I'm leaving that to my November favorite. So you'll see those soon because I didn't really get to start even using them until November. So um, what I am going to talk about is the Posh Paradise collection because that was what came out at the beginning of October. So I was able to get three of their paint pots. Um, and I love paint pots. If you know anything about me, I'm all about the paint pots. So the first one is called Half Wild. And this is a beautiful purple color. So a lot of times I'll do an all over my lid purple smoky eye. Not even smoky, just all over dark purple. I mean, it's beautiful. And this is the best base for that. Sometimes I do it with a blue also, which explains why I got Pure Creation, which is this beautiful blue color. And the funny thing about this is when I was in California, you know, I live in California, I was able to get two of their paint pots, but another one that I really wanted was sold out. And so I went to Seattle, and what do you know, they had it. So yay me! And then the other paint pot that I got while I was still in California is Nubile. And this paint pot is really a fleshy tone, but it's also shimmery. But it's really, really subtle, really subtle. So I was afraid at first that it was going to be too shimmery and I might not really actually like it, but I love this. And I, you know, when you look at it, sometimes it looks shimmery, but I would say it just has sort of a sheen to it, light sheen. Almost like, um, let's see, Bear Study but not quite as frosty and think about painterly at the same time as far as like the darker kind of flesh tone. That's what it reminds me of. So I love this. I use it a lot. And okay, so those are the paint pots that I got. And then also I got this eyeshadow. You'll have to excuse my messy, dirty eyeshadow tray, but this color right up here, I'm hoping that, oh yeah, that focused good. It's called Rice Paper. It is my new favorite love for highlighting this area right here. That's what I have on right now. I love it. It's awesome. Before that, I was using um, Dazzle Light. So let me show you. That is this one right here, which is also, oops, which is also a really beautiful color. But um, I don't know. I just love the way this one kind of glows without being too like frosty or anything like that. So. I love that too. Okay, next. I um, have been in love with the CoverGirl lipsticks that just came out. I don't even know what they're called anymore. Mm, it doesn't say. But they come in these square tubes. So I had like three of them. Of course, I had to go buy more. So um, this one is called Siren. And I just love this color. When you first look at it, it looks like Oh my god, it's fuchsia, it's bright pink. But then when you put it on, it's really subtle. So I love this. In fact, let me put it on the back of my hand for you. So it's really, really pretty. And probably because my lips are kind of reddish to begin with, that's why it looks more, um, not too crazy bright for me. So that's one thing I love also is that because of the color of my lips, I can get away with wearing like some of the brightest colors ever. And some people look at me like, whoa, that looks awesome on you, but I can never do that. So I'm lucky for that, believe me. Okay, so then what else? Oh, so last time I did a favorites video, it was for September, and one of the things on my favorites list was I love rollerball perfumes because you can stick it in your purse, take it with you, and I was at MAC. Of course I was at MAC. I'm always at MAC, right? And I got this. Oh, it's dirty from being in my purse right here. This is Max Rollerball and I it's bigger than the regular ones, so yay me. Oh, it smells so good. It's called Turquatic. 
I love this so much. You should definitely check it out. I think this was like $20 and this will last me so, so long, but I've already been using this so much. I just love the smell. So definitely you should check it out. Okay, next. Oh, I dropped something. Let me grab that. Okay, so next, I'm also just starting to get into Max Mineralize Skin Finishes. I knew that they existed, but I had never tried one because I already liked what I had. And so whenever I like something a lot, I'm always kind of skeptical and I don't want to try anything new because I already have my favorite, my love, that sort of thing. So I was at MAC for the Posh Paradise event and they were doing your makeup. Obviously, if you're buying product, they want to help you out with that too. And it's it was really weird to actually be on that end of things because I don't normally have my makeup done. So... She used on me a uh, MAC Mineralize Skin and Finish Natural in Medium. And this is it right here. And I love this stuff. The finish is so smooth. And then, um, let's see. Also, she used another one called Porcelain Pink, which is so pretty. I think my lights are a little bright that it's not going to show that good. I don't know. Hopefully that looked all right, you can see. But it's so pretty. And you just kind of put it in your highlight areas. And, oh, it just makes your face have this nice glowy look. I love it. Another trick, though, that I learned, um, and this wasn't at this last MAC thing, but I've known this for a little while. I actually learned it at a bridal class. And um, that is to use a cream blush. And you'll have to excuse how used this is. But you'll put a cream blush on, so you put your foundation on, and then you'll dab on, with your ring finger, you'll dab on some cream blush, and then put your powder over, and it just gives you a glowing from the inside look, which is very, very nice, especially for weddings, because, hey, who doesn't want to look glowy, right? So, um, I love this, and this one in particular is called Posy. And I know that they do still have this at MAC. I was just there recently and was looking at it saying to my friend, oh, this is the one I use. You should get this. So she didn't get it, but that's okay. I don't work for MAC, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, so then some of you know, and of course, you know, I don't have any eyeliner on today really, but I love eyeliner. I'm usually always wearing eyeliner. And for me, Fluid Line has been like a tried and true, use it all the time, can't leave home without it like your American Express but I have also been trying to explore drugstore brands a bit more because I know a lot of you are not able to purchase the high-end things and you know I have a great discount at Mac because I'm a professional but I still wanted to see what was out there and see if there was anything that was comparable so I was very very pleasantly surprised to find that Wet n Wild has uh, what do they call this an eyeliner I don't even know what it's called, but it looks like this. It's kind of a weird little pot shaped. It's plastic, but inside of it is the liner. And so this costs, I think, $2.99 at Target. Not expensive at all, but let me tell you, this stuff works so darn good. It works probably just as good as MAC. So um, I would say if you're on a budget or just starting out, definitely try this. They only have two colors, which kind of stinks. They have black and then they have this plum color. Definitely try it out, please. You'll be happy, you'll be surprised. Okay, so then also, I, a little while back I got the Benefit Finding Mr. Bright. A uh, little box has a whole bunch of little sample size products of theirs and inside was this erase paste. Just a little jar. Excuse my sniffing. I'm getting over a cold. I'm sorry. I will try to stop, but it's kind of hard. So um, this is a number two medium, and let me see if I could just show you. It's kind of a, uh, I don't know, like a salmon color. This works so good for my dark circles. I just kind of put it on in like a triangular pattern. Oh my God, so bright, so pure, so pretty. You can't even tell. It doesn't look cakey at all. It's a really good product. You should definitely try this. And you know, this is medium. I think they have one, two, and three, light, medium, dark probably. But this stuff works really good. You should definitely give it a try. Anything that's like salmon kind of colored is gonna help cancel out this kind of purple bluish 
circles, I don't know a nice way of putting that, under your eyes. So give that a shot. And then the last makeup product that I have to show you came in my October Birch Box, and I was going to do a Birch Box video. And then I saw like three or four people all had Birch Box videos. So I was like, okay, that's kind of old news because I have the same things that they have. So I decided not to. What I'm going to do instead, I'm going to film my November Birch Box video. And I'm going to talk about my October Birch Box products because now I've had time to try them. But there's one thing that definitely has stood out to me and is definitely a favorite, and I'll explain to you why. It's from a company called Blink, B-L-I-N-C, and it comes in this little metal tube here, kind of like a test tube. You just take off the top, and inside is the mascara. And they call it tubing mascara because supposedly it coats your lash and forms a tube around it. And so you don't really use makeup remover to get it off, you just use like warm water and rub it a little bit and these tubes supposedly fall off. So really, I don't know about all that. I have been using it. Yeah, some little pieces come off and they do look like they could have been tubes, I guess, but I don't know. I've The jury's out on that part of it. That's not important. Anyway, so the first time I use this, actually the first two times I use this, I put it this on my upper lashes only and then I saw that it didn't really like lengthen or anything it didn't lengthen and it didn't volumize which are two things that are very important for me in a mascara that is why I love benefits bad gal lash okay so I was really really disappointed but then huh I put it on my lower lashes and I actually have it on today I don't know if you could tell but my lower lashes look really full and let me tell you, I never wear mascara on my lower lashes. The reason for that is, anytime I do, it doesn't matter what mascara it is, I end up looking like a raccoon with dark circles under my eyes. No, it's not because I didn't get enough sleep. It's because my mascara is coming off. So I guess it's because my eyelashes are really long and they touch and I don't know, who knows. But it's a really disappointing thing to not be able to wear mascara on your lower lashes. So I tried this just for kicks. And yay, surprise to me, it did not come off. I was like, no, no way, no way, you know, I didn't put enough on. So I tried it again. I've been wearing it for like four or five days straight and I have not had any kind of raccoon eyes. I love this stuff. I won't probably use it on my upper lashes because I want that volume and the length, but this stuff is awesome. I don't need volume and length on my lower lashes. I've got that, that's great. So I absolutely love this stuff and I'm definitely going to buy it again, even if it's just for my lower lashes, which sounds kind of like stupid. You buy a separate mascara just for your lower lashes, but if they made one that gave you volume and length that did that, I would buy that too. So it is what it is, right? So that's that. That's all of my cosmetics. Next though, I want to talk about nail polish. I love nail polish. I don't always have my hands done, but my toes are always done. <laughs> and I'm kind of a nail polish junkie. So, I'm sure everybody already knows that the Muppets collection came out. So, don't you know, I got them all. So, I just want to show them to you really quickly because they're so pretty. They're so beautiful. This one is called Getting Miss Piggy With It. And it is this beautiful red with silver glitter in it love this and then so cute fresh frog of bel-air and this is a green with the silver like just how the red one was which is pretty also and they have a few of them like that so this one here is gone gonzo and it is a blue with the same glitters in it and they're all like they're clear polish but then they've got the glitter in them whatever color and then besides that, they've got the silver glitter also. And the silver glitter is bigger. Here's another one. This one's Divine Swine. And this one is sort of a fuchsia color. Might look purple on the screen. I can't tell. On my little screen, it looks purple. But this also has the larger silver glitter pieces. And this one that everybody, oh my gosh. So they put out the collection and I wasn't there that day. I came back the next day and it was totally sold out. So thank God we ordered more 
and I got it. This color is called Rainbow Connection. And this one is every color of glitter that you can think of. It is beautiful. And it is sheer at first, but once you get the first coat on, you can really build up without it being like super thick and gunky. So I love this. And then the other colors, oh, I have one more of the glitter kind. And this is Excusez-moi. And this is a pink, um, not quite as purple, definitely a pink. And this has the larger silver glitter pieces in it too. Okay, now on to the rest of their collection. And this one is called Waka Waka. And this is like a burgundy shimmer color, also very beautiful. And then, meep, meep, meep. And this one is also, gosh, they're really similar. So this one's more red, this one's more pinky red. And this one is just, you know, the color with a glittery sheen to it. Here's a darker one, definitely more what I would call burgundy. And this is called Peep's Purple Passion. And this is also very, very beautiful. And let's see, we have Animalistic. This is a really popular color. This one also has been selling out. And it is a reddish pink, frosty uh, kind of shimmer color. There it goes. Two more colors and this one, oh, this is so beautiful. This reminds me of the foiling technique that everybody's doing with the MAC pigments and the Fix Plus. This is exactly what it reminds me of, this one and the next one. This one is called Designer de Better, and it is just a silver, but really, really metallic color. It's beautiful, it looks metal. And then lastly for the Muppets collection is Warm and Fozzy. And that is sort of a bronzy uh, metallic color as well. Not quite as metallic as Designer Do Better though. So lastly, I have two more polishes. I'm sorry this video is so long. Um, but these ones are not new. Well, one of them is, but they're definitely both new to me. And this is from the Designer series from OPI. Uh, one of the colors just came out, and one of them has been there for a little while. The one that has been already part of the collection is called Bold. And these ones in the designer series always come with the silver top. But then the color itself is just beautiful. And a lot of times they look almost holographic, so that's one of the main reasons why they're so popular. And this one, Temptation, this is the new one, and oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I love this. I have to have this on my toes immediately. So um, let's see, anything else that I'm missing? Oh yes, a couple things. My new wallet is so awesome and <laughs> it's totally beat up. I'm sure you can see the dents in it. But I got this in the month of October and I love it because one, you can beat it and it won't break. All my stuff is safe in here. So um, it has this little clip at the top, you just push it down and open up and all of your cards are in there. So um, I love this because I can just take this with me, I can shove it in my pocket, I don't have to worry about breaking anything. If I just want to take this and not my purse, that's okay, not a problem. So I love this little wallet. I got this at Bed Bath & Beyond for like $10 and while I was on vacation actually, I saw these, some little fancy designs or whatever, but um, they were like $40. So I was so happy with my $10 plain red one and I chose red just because you know sometimes in your purse it's like the bottomless pit and you're like I can't find anything that's why it's red it's easy to see plus you can feel in there and feel the smooth and it's aluminum so it's cool to the touch it's easy to find and then um, let's see two more things my favorites and then I'll let you go so um, I just found this new website recently from watching other gurus on what on YouTube and it's called Makeup Alley, and I had heard of it, but I didn't know exactly what it was. So I went on there and just checked it out, and I found the coolest thing on there. <laughs> you guys are going to think I'm a dork, but I have probably over 100 bottles of nail polish. Easy. Easy. And so, of course, I can't wear 100 bottles worth of nail polish. I mean, you use it a few times, and then maybe half the bottle even you use. Who knows? if you like absolutely love the color. But a lot of times I buy all these polishes and then I don't end up using them and then they just sit around. 
So, I went on Makeup Alley and they have this thing called swapping. You put on there your list of things that you want to trade other people and they put their list on and then you guys communicate with each other about what you want to swap. So it is so cool. I've already done it like three, four times that I've actually like received the packages and then I have like another three or four in the works right now. And so the way it works is you have tokens which are kind of like eBay feedback, if that makes any sense, like it's your reputation, so to speak. So if you have a lot of good tokens, then, you know, the other person will ship to you first. If you have like not so many tokens, you're new like me, I had to ship first, but that was fine. I didn't care, you know, but um, apparently you have to be careful because there's people who swap lift. They like steal instead of like sending you your stuff, which is really awful, but whatever. So, um, yeah, it's a really cool site. You should definitely check it out. It's called MakeupAlley.com, and if you find me on there, my name is Kylie Jordan, same as my YouTube name. Is it? Or is it Kylie is Killer? I don't know. It's either Kylie is Killer or Kylie Jordan. I'll just put a link down below so you can find it. Um, okay, so the last thing, and I promise the last thing, because this is a super long video. Oh, my God, it says 26 minutes. Oh, you guys are going to kill me. Um, okay, so I have some YouTube gurus that I've been watching a lot and I love. So I just wanted to give them a quick little shout out. They don't even really know that I'm doing it, but I just thought it'd be nice to let you guys know some of the people that I like to watch. And if you let me know some of the people that you like to watch, then you know, we can all find some new people. So the first one, and the reason I love this girl is because she obviously is as into makeup as I am. It's Temptalia. And the girl, her name is Christine. And she has, I swear to God, every single makeup collection that there is. Nail polish, you name it. It doesn't matter which brand. She has it. She's swatching it for you the second it comes out. I love that because I, a lot of times, like, hear about a collection coming out, but I'm not sure if I really want it or not. You can check out her channel. She has tons of things. It's not, like, real showy, like, oh, watch me put on this, and then you use that. It's not like that at all. It's like, here's the colors. This is what they look like. Here's what they look like swatched, you know, it's really like simple, straightforward, and she gives your honest, her honest opinion too, which is really nice. Okay, next. The next one is Rix32, and I'll post below like how to spell all this, but I love her because she makes me think of my friend in high school. She just, the way she talks and how she acts, and she has a lot of haul videos, which I love watching haul videos. And she just talks about her real life, which I really like. You know, I like to be able to just say how it is and what's going on with me. And I, she does that, and I really like that about her. So you guys should check her out. And then lastly is Nicole, and her uh, username is NV Makeup Lover. And again, her name is Nicole. The reason I like her is she's just really down to earth. You know, you could tell that her opinions are honest they're her own nobody's paid her or anything she just wants to know and wants to share and loves makeup so what's not to love about that so definitely you should check out those three gurus they're all really good I mean I hope that you guys will tell me some of the ones that you like also because I would love to find some new ones I love watching YouTube oh my god I spent too much time on it but whatever that's the way it is so um anyway so those are my October favorites. I'm really sorry that it's late. Again, it's like November 8th right now, which is really sad, but it is what it is. I am busy. I don't know what else to do. Sorry. Um, anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry this video is so long. I'm going to shut up right now and uh, talk to you soon.